registration for those kids who have a project or write a little notebook on it, and then uh, they're going to their, give their speech. Um, we just had a man here Friday night where kids, where uh, the extension is in four districts, we're in the Southwest District, and they have PPA, Rocky well, that stands for District Project Achievement. They go there and compete uh, with other kids in the county, and the winners from our district will go to something called State Congress in Atlanta and compete against kids in one of the other districts. And uh, before they go there, we had a demand to train our winners so they'll be better, better prepared to face off with these other winners in other states. So they just get, uh, keep working on that project, get better and better. And it, they really gives them a lot of skills. Um, also, there are scholarships available through 4 H too, if they come into college. All right, Grayson, I think it's great to wrap it up. It's, maybe, it's probably not directly in your area. Do you know what happens? In, in the last we had a uh, curbside cleaning up of our uh, yard. What happens from there? Uh, uh, I know the answer to that question. No, what happens after they pick up your, your trash? Not, not our trash, our, our, our uh, lawn cut. Well, they take it down to the um, industrial park and they turn it into clippings and then you can go back and get mulch. Uh -huh. okay. I know the house is a place near the prison, but take a lot of the yard place. Yeah, and yeah. the industrial, and the yeah. recycling center on the industrial is where they do that. Yeah. I know in other counties, they've uh, tried to turn that into runs where they try to make uh, sewage waste into something called runs with the land. And a lot of those things, uh, yeah. they don't seem to pan out for whatever reason. You know, they may have a smell issue or other things like that. Uh, and Camden County used to have a lot of uh, yard waste from construction and they would uh, they have these big piles and they'd sit in the soil and you couldn't get topsoil. It was pretty good, but I think it just was costly. But uh, you like to say you can get mulch. Yep. Well thank you very much, Jake. Arsenic comes from arsenic. Uh, they don't really know. There's supposedly a natural geologic formation close to here, mm -hmm. and I think it runs from like Cairo or Thomasville up to Irwin County. But we're on the edge, but we're not like right on the edge. So I don't know. They say a lot of it's natural mm -hmm. um, weathering of rocks, that sort of thing, produces some arsenic. And I think it's more of a problem in other areas of the country, up in North Georgia places like that. But here, they, um, besides that little natural geologic formation, they're not really sure. Um, I've heard several theories. One uh, person say they used to, uh, when they had cattle operations, they would dig trenches and they would put this, um, to control flies and stuff, they would put this water in there and they would put uh, a pesticide in there and run the cows through that. And they said some of that contained arsenic. And I think that may have gone down into the groundwater, but that's, 
that's been 30 years ago. You know, people haven't done that in a long time, but uh, you know, that's just a possibility, so they're really not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. So can we call you up if we have any questions? Or? You can. I actually got some. Anything about the extension, 3335185, call them up, ask a question. You okay. might get me to answer the question. <laughs> uh, but you can call and ask questions. Um, it's a, their, their mission is education. So phone them up, you might get changed. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, I appreciate you uh, inviting me here tonight, and uh, y'all have a good meeting. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. See you now. All right. <laughs> One of these big ones. Mm -hmm.